So hey everyone, today we gonna solve some scenario based interview questions. So the very first question is how to check numeric variable is having even or odd values. What we gonna do, we gonna create a new data set. We have given the name CSA. We are calling an existing data set. This time what we gonna do in the class data set, we gonna select the age variable and we gonna check which age values are even on which are odd. So let's give a condition if we are going to use mode function and after you know showing you the solution I'm gonna explain the code as well. So if mode of and uh, first we need to select the dividend. We need to select the age variable so that you, we can select all the age values and then divisor. So age values divide by 2 and when reminder is d 0 then type should be even else type should be hard. Let me run this program and let me show you the code. So we wanted to know that which age values were even or odd. You can see 14 is even. So in the type we are getting even, 13 is odd, 12 is even, 15 is odd, again 16 is even and 11 is odd. For all the age values, the type value is coming correct. Now, how this mode function works? So you can understand in this way, in the mode function, the very first thing you need to write that is dividend. And the second argument you need to write that is divisor. After equal to, you need to give reminder. So reminder is not mandatory, okay? But whenever you are using mode function, you need to give dividend and divisor. Now, for an example, let me show you. So I have created this for you guys, so you can understand this e easily. So let's assume, you want to divide 10 by 2 okay so 10 will be dividend and 2 will be divisor so 2 5s are 10 so 2 5s are 10 so you will get the remainder 0 for all the even values okay the remainder will be 0 so what we are assuming here for all the even values the remainder will be 0 and for the same reason we have given this condition here if mode and then age variable dividend and divide by 2 equal to 0. So if some value reminder is coming 0, then for those values in the type variable even should be written for remaining odd should be written. For which values reminder will be 0? The values which can be easily, you know, divided by not easily for which the reminder will come 0. Okay, it's kind of confusing, but I hope you got to understand. Now let's move to the next question. How to select every every second record? Okay, so let's assume we are having a data and uh, we are creating a new data set. Then let's call in data. We are calling the class data. Then the question is how to select every second record. So we can give a condition if mode of underscore and underscore. So all the record numbers are stored in the variable name n. Okay, by default all the iterations are stored in underscore and underscore. So if the record number divided by 2 and when the reminder is 0 then output and for comparison let me show you I am printing the raw data set as well and the latest data as well. So this is our raw data set that is class and this is our latest data set in which we have selected every second record. Now you can see in the output result window guys uh, the first data set is the raw data set. So what was our question? to select every second record, right? So our second record is, uh, that is multiple of two, like two ones are two, that is Alice, then Carol, then James. So you can see here, first record is coming Alice, then Carol, then James, and same up to so on. So whichever values come under the table of two, so all those values are coming, like every second record, second, fourth, sixth, eighth, okay, tenth, you can see every second record got selected and how it got selected if it can be divided by 2 and the reminder is 0 so in that case those will be the second record only most probably every second record like 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 in that case will get the reminder 0 now same way if you want to select every third record so we gonna copy the data exactly and we can write here CSA 3 and instead of 2 we can divide by 3 so this is dividend this is divisor and this is 0 so when the reminder is 0 and we are uh, when the divisor is 3 then output 
let me update the data name so you can see third record is barbara then sixth record is james and then the ninth one is zephry so you can see the first record is coming in the latest data barbara then james then zephry so every third record is getting selected now guys even if you don't write this then output it gonna automatically output every third record you can see barbara james and zephry every third record it is selecting now guys let's suppose how to remove every third record okay let's suppose if you want to remove every third record so instead of equal to zero you just write n e zero means not equal to zero so basically what it gonna do it gonna remove every third record let's update the data name so third record is uh, barbara and sixth record is james so this two should not come so after uh, alfred alice directly carol should come so you can see after alfred alice direct directly carol is coming and then sixth record should also not come it should get removed so after carol henry directly jean should come so you can see after carol and henry the jean uh, name is coming because every third record is getting removed then this question gonna be unique guys that how to select second occurrence of unique id let's suppose there is a data and it contains some variables like uh, id and it is having id but it's repeating multiple time guys you can see here 101 we have written three times and 102 we have written four times okay now let me run the data okay we forgot to write cards now guys what your work is to select the second record of unique id so let's suppose this record and in 102 this record so how we can do this and to get an idea we are successfully uh, selecting every second record i am creating a new variable as well visit visit to visit three then for subject number two this is visit 1, visit 2, visit 3 and visit 4. I am creating a new data CSA 6 calling the previous data CSA it's not CSA, new 5. Then we need to write a condition guys. We need to select the second record of each unique ID. So this is possible actually by ID variable. Okay. So we need to write the condition if first dot id then create a new variable id sequence equal to one else id sequence equal to sequence plus one by writing this id sequence equal to id sequence plus one what i'm doing if sas is finding the unique id for the first time in the new variable id sequence it should write here one or else it should add plus one value first occurrence is that then one should come or else it should be plus one so here it should come as two here it should come as three and again if it is a new id then again one then two kind of this guy so this is how we want in the output but automatically this needs to be done so in that case we need to write retain as well to retain the id sequence value so the new variable value should be retained with zero you can remove the spaces if you want it's not mandatory so what it will do you can see in the output I have created the sequence for first visit uh, it's one then two then three if the first occurrence then one then second occurrence then two and then three same goes for id number two one zero two but still we wanted the second occurrence right so we can uh, simply write id sequence equal to two so what it will do it have selected the second occurrence of each unique id you can see here visit to visit to you could have you know asked me this question that sir we can have like directly you could have given this condition if visit equal to visit to that was the direct method to select the second occurrence of each unique id but let's suppose if the occurrence value is missing in the data then then how would you do 
so this method is not dependent upon the existing variable it doesn't requires an existing variable like visit to have the second third occurrence number this method whenever it will find the unique id it will give the sequence one and if it is re repeating that id is repeating it gonna create the increment one two three four it gonna count it and again once unique id will be there it gonna give the first occurrence and then the counting will go on so guys i hope uh, you got to understand these things are used in real time as well in clinical and um, it's helpful for interview as well so that's all for today guys thank you everyone and bye bye everyone